Hi there. We'll shame you here. And this is Z. This is one. No! And this is the other one. No! The list of you're right. It's coming up soon. Now it's story time on Noggin. The story of Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time in a pretty little town, there lived a pretty little girl who always wore a Little Red Riding Hood. She wore it so often, she was called Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother said to her, Dear daughter, your grandma is feeling ill. Please take this basket of yummy food to her. Now, when a mean old wolf who was always spying on Little Red Riding Hood heard this, he wanted the food for himself. So he hatched a very nasty plan. He ran to Grandma's house as fast as his legs would carry him. When he got there, he knocked on the door. Who is it? said Grandma. Why, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood said the wolf in his sweetest voice. And his voice was so sweet, it fooled Grandma into unlocking the door. Well, when Grandma saw it was the wolf, she ran right out of the house to get help. Then the wolf sprang into action. He put on Grandma's nightgown and nightcap and got into Grandma's bed, pulling the covers up right to his nose. What a great plan, <laughs> chuckled the wolf. Right then, there was a knock at the door. Who is it? said the wolf in his sweetest grandma voice. Why, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood, said the voice from outside. When Little Red Riding Hood came in, she looked at the bed and said, Grandma, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear, said the wolf, still hiding under the covers. Grandma, what big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. The better to see you with, my dear, said the wolf. Grandma, what big teeth you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. The better to eat you with, cried the wolf, and he jumped out of the bed. Just then, Grandma came running into the house. She brought a woodcutter to help her. The woodcutter grabbed his axe, waved it at the wolf, and started chasing him back into the woods. The wolf forgot all about eating Little Red Riding Hood and ran away as far and as fast as his legs would carry him. After their great adventure, Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma thanked the brave woodcutter and gave each other a big hug. That's the end of the well-known story of Little Red Riding Hood. But then what happened? Andrea made up a story to tell what she thinks happened next. The big bad wolf keeps getting into trouble. He tried to eat Little Red Riding Hood and Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother. He keeps chasing after Red Riding Hood. So Little Red Riding Hood's mommy calls the wolf's mommy. Hello? <laughs> the big bad wolf's mommy, this is Little Red Riding Hood's mommy. He's being really bad. <laughs> he keeps chasing my Red Riding Hood. Can you please help us? Yes, the wolf's gonna get a major timeout. The big bad wolf's mommy makes him go to his room for a whole entire month. He only got meals delivered to his room. And the one thing he hates, spinach. Rock. He had to eat spinach every day for an entire month. He'd say, ugh, I don't want any dinner. I don't want any breakfast. I don't want any lunch. Blah, <laughs> and he'd spit it out. <laughs> then, if he would be bad again and try to eat Little Red Riding Hood, he'd be punished for a whole nother week. And they all became good friends. And they lived happily ever after the end. What is the difference that holding our hands, lips, and toes, and shoulders. Yes! Now it's time for Gumpy. Oh, yeah, not good. Walk through the wall if you want him to.
you glad with all the things he can do.